Hey guys, TechMentor with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to force restart a stuck or frozen iPhone SE first generation with a model that was released in 2016. So if it's frozen or stuck, you're going to follow this step to force restart it and to quickly fix it. And this method will not delete any of the data on it. So it's going to be really simple. You're going to locate the top button here or the lock with the power button and the home button. And when to press and hold these two buttons until the screen goes completely black and once you see the apple logo up here we'll let go of it so I'll hold the top and the home button at the same time and you're going to press and hold just like that and keep on holding it until the screen goes black like that which is good and we're going to wait for the apple logo to appear and once you see the apple logo we let go at the same time basically this forces the phone to completely shut down and reload the code because the software is most likely causing the phone to be stuck or frozen and unable to respond to touch. Now this method is completely safe. It will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will be still on your iPhone. You don't have to worry about any of that. Just let it do this process. And to get the hang of it, you might have to do it a few times. So if it doesn't work the first time, for example, if you press and release it, it's gonna do a screenshot. So make sure you press and hold at the same time and again, you can do it as many times as you need to to get it to work. Or if you don't can't get it, just keep on trying it. Same exact thing. Just let go of the home button and the top button. Once you see the Apple logo appear, same thing as you'll see here. It'll go back to the home screen. And that's how you fix a frozen or stuck iPhone SE first generation. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please do consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.